welcome back and let's get the show on the road for another quick chat. So what are we going to be talking about today? Well, something very simple, close to my heart, you've all heard it before. Not mental wellness, not retail, maybe a combination of both. But it's more of, it is what it is what it is. Yep, that's a common phrase we hear nowadays and it's just a cover up for everything we're afraid to be doing or holding others accountable. It has to stop now. It is not what it is, what it is, what it is. It actually is what can be, what should be, or how it should be. I believe this famous phrase, it is what it is, what it is, has its root cause. You like that root cause analysis? A lot of us retailers have heard that. Uh, but the root cause is we're just friggin' afraid to hold people accountable to what they are doing, either at work because we got to be politically correct, you know, <clears throat> we can say certain things because otherwise HR will get involved and we don't want that. Or we don't want to talk to our friends in such a manner that, such a manner, or we just don't want to express ourselves in such a manner that, uh, you know, people will dislike us, they won't follow us, we won't get the likes, but at the end of the day to cover it all, it is what it is what it is. Guys, just stop it. Be yourself, live for today, don't regret anything you said, move on, move forward, and stop using it is what it is, 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 what it is. Blah, blah, blah. No, that's not cool anymore, guys. Enough of being afraid. Enough of hiding behind a shield. Be yourself. Once again, roll it back to retail. Nothing wrong with holding your team accountable for the job that they're paid to do. And in real life, for your mental wellness, nothing wrong with saying how you're feeling in real terms, with using real words, using real phrases. And on that note, you dare me to say it, I'm not going to say it. On that note, I want to wish everyone a phenomenal day. Chat soon. Cheerio.